Hi there, welcome back to the video. So in this video, I will show how to resize your browser in the sense. So this is, I have resized some part of this browser. So again, I'm going to increase this height and again, I'm going to increase this width. So this is a desktop view and again, so this is a tab view. This and tab view, and next, this is a mobile view. For this, I am going to change the height and width of this browser automatically. So, according to your requirement, you can do it. So, let's get started. So, actually, I had already written some statements here. So, standard statement this one. So, I am going to work in Chrome browser only. So, that's why I had written this path also. Or I had set the environment also. So I am going to navigate the URL called Gmail. So here I am going to write some statements. Driver dot set window size. So width equal to I can give you first 800 and height equal to I can give you 1100 centimeters. So I will remove this window handle. So according to this video, window handle is not required. So again, here I will give driver dot implicit weight up to five seconds because we need to observe, right? So after this, again I will give driver dot implicit weight up to six, five seconds. So again I will set this position of this. I will set the size of this window. So again I will give the weight nearly 600 and again I will give the height equal to 1500 so driver dot implicit weight again I will give 5 seconds so after this I need to get back the original positions in the sense at this get back the original position for this for what is it height and width also I need to take care I need to know so for this I will give driver dot get sorry driver dot get window position here so I will call this object position here so position equal to get window position so here I am going to print this position print position that's it so I will run this program as a unit test so I will make here okay Yes, Gmail is open. Just observe the window size. Yes, all the size, I mean, all this width and height has been done with very costly. So, you need to observe very clearly so you can give implicit weight up to 30 seconds, then only it will be visible for you. So, now the program is completed. So, I need to get the window position at current position of what is there. So you can see 10 and 10. This is the position of this window. At which position is there means it is in 10 and 10. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In upcoming videos, I'll tell you data driven framework, robot framework, and all the stuff. I will give more and more real time examples in upcoming videos because I am also a learner. So I am going to, I am executing these programs with different examples. So it helps me too and it helps for you also. So thanks for watching. So if you like my videos, like, comment, and subscribe. Please provide the feedback in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe this channel.